More Nicaraguans are forced to find refuge here in South Florida and throughout the U.S. It's a new normal as the Nicaraguan government is banning some of its own citizens from returning to their homeland. In many cases, they're returned in just a matter of hours. As CBS News Miami's Yvonne Taylor found out, an immigration attorney says the figures are overwhelming. Some Nicaraguans come to the airport and they find out through the airline that they cannot board the plane. This issue got a lot more attention because of the recently crowned Miss Universe. The new Miss Universe is Nicaragua! It was a moment of joy for millions of Nicaraguans, their first Miss Universe ever. The occasion was overshadowed when the national director, Karen Celeberti, seen on this picture with the winner, returned to Managua days after and was not allowed in. Her husband and son were both arrested. They are accused of terrorism. We can only describe this situation as paranoia of the dictatorship. Felix Maradiaga is a Nicaraguan political prisoner. He was locked up in jail because of challenging dictator Daniel Ortega at the polls. He says Ortega and his wife, the vice president, consider terrorism marching through the streets of Nicaragua with a national flag demanding change. Yet, those protests happened five years ago. Over 15% of the population has been forced into exile, and about 300 Nicaraguans have been declared stateless. So this is a new method of repression. The Ortega regime removed the citizenship of Maradiaga and more than 220 citizens. When someone loses the ability to return to their home country, like the Nicaraguans, they fall into sort of a limbo. At a press conference about human rights, Nicaragua was a subject of discussion because political asylums are not easily processed. USCIS and the asylum office are seeing very high volume of these asylum cases. I landed in Nicaragua on Wednesday that last week around 7 p.m. and I was returned to Miami and then the following the following day. Raul is a naturalized U.S. citizen who asked us not to show his face because he has family in Nicaragua. Why do you think they returned you? I mean, I, I know I posted some things about the government, something against the government. The director of the Miss Nicaragua is accused of doing the same thing. At this conference, they're asking U.S. legislators to pay attention to what Ortega government is doing, forcing people into exile. As far as Shaney's Palacios Miss Universe 2023, it is unknown at this moment if she will be allowed to return to her homeland. The director of the Nicaraguan National Beauty Pageant, the one that was not allowed to return back to her homeland, has not granted any interviews because her husband and son are still detained by the Ortega regime. Ivan Taylor, CBS News, Miami.